Get in. What am I supposed to have done? In the car. Where are we heading? Santa Rita. I just came from there. I know. the law to interfere with an officer's duty. That's what you're doing. Stay away from this office or I'll put each of you under arrest. Now move. belt off. And the others, too. What? Take off your belt. You sure this is New Mexico? Not Mexico? Get going. Get him? I got him. Good. Okay, if I ask why? Because I say so. So, what do you think? I think we've got a problem. Any change in the girl's condition? No. Did you find anything at the house? No. What about the knife he used to cut the screen? Well, that's the first thing he could get rid of. It was a sharp one. Left no frayed edges. Uh, no fingerprints. Nothing to go on. Hmm. The people are getting angry. You think we might need some help? Don't you? Oh, Manuel, it will be all right. You're the best damn policeman in the state. The people respect you. They know you are fair. I like that in writing. And me? They like me too. Between the two of us, I think we can handle them. Put that in writing too. Ah, man, well, what I'm trying to say is... I know what you're trying to say. So skip it, will you? Food for the pigs. Hey, when are you gonna hang them? Now get out of here.
Now, I'm, uh, I'm going to the hospital. You better check that food before you give it to them. And they call Santa Fe and get a rap sheet on each of them. I don't want to talk about it. What's the matter with Cleveland, Joe? A lot of big men come from Cleveland. President Garfield, old man Rockefeller. We lived in a different part of town. How come you know so much about it anyway? I'm a college man, Joe. I know a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, I'm hungry. I could do with a drink, too. Shut up, will ya? Boy, it's hot in this place. The air conditioning's not even working. <laughs> hey, here's your food. Mexican slop. What? Hey, you gotta be kidding. Hey, deputy, what's going on? What's the big beef about? If you don't know, ask one of your buddies. One of you sure knows. How long do you plan to keep us here? Hey, how about a deck of cards? Hey, when's the sheriff going to be here? The nearest sheriff is in the county seat, Silver City. But don't worry. We can take care of you. How do you like that? A deputy and a deputy sheriff. Both mechs. I don't like the smell of the whole business. Hey, aren't you hungry? No. Them outside. Did you speak with him? No. How is Juanita? Just the same. Oh. Don't look so wary. I can't help it. I've never seen people act like this before. Well, people act that way sometimes. But they haven't done anything wrong. You know what I mean, Manuel. They're thinking wrong. Did you talk to Dr. Chavez? What are the chances? He says 50-50. But she was able to speak five hours ago. Is she worse? No, she's just unconscious. He says it's a miracle she's alive. Whoever it was gave her a terrible beating. Either he's a madman or a sadist. Listen, well, when she comes to, let me know. She doesn't have to talk. All I wanted to do is point to the guilty one. Well, well there's an ugly mob out there. I don't think there'll be any trouble. Are you sure? I'm glad I have more confidence in you as a nurse. I'm sorry, Manuel. But you know what they're thinking. Yes, I know. So what will you do? Well, uh, I'll do what I have to. Manuel. Now remember, I don't want anybody to know what's going on here. Good news or bad news. Does that include her father? Yes. What is this, Davis? Last time I saw him, he was headed for the church. He's been back and forth between here and there all morning. I see. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Be careful. Yes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Esteves. I need your help. My help? I want the people to go about their business, back to their homes. They will listen to you. You are her father. 
They will not listen to you. I'm the law. The law is not always popular. My duty is to protect those prisoners until I find out which one did this terrible thing to your daughter. If the people interfere with the law... They are your people too, Manuel. They are all my people. Even those three in jail. Creating more trouble will not help Juanita. I'm asking you to use your influence. I need time. You're a good man, Manuel. Hard, but good. I'll do the best I can. Thank you. But if, if she dies, if she dies, when the church bell rings, I will be leaving them. And you'd better have the guilty one. like the worst of it's over. What do you think it was? Probably some drunk that got knocked in the head, so they pick up every outsider they can find. A bunch of nuts. These Mexicans can go crazy, you know. A couple of years ago, I saw one of them getting lynched in Texas, and you never saw such a mad mob of Mexicans running down a street and, and, and throwing bricks through windows and, and, and beating up white guys. I'm telling you, you never saw such a mob. You, you, you think that... The, You'd think one of them was getting lynched or something. Yeah, that's right. You'd think they were getting lynched. <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> How is Juanita? Same. She better pull through. Yeah. I'm going upstairs. I want to hear what those gringos have to say. Yes? Uh -huh. I'll hold. I was born at midnight on March 21st, right smack in the button between Pisces and Aries. You know what that makes me? Halfway between a fish and a goat. I don't know whether to swim or butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I need is a drink. This is a sweat box. Be glad you're in here. Outside this time of the year, it's like an oven. Great sandy oven. Hey, I'm thirsty. How about some water? Yeah. You'll get it when I say so. What about a drink, Deputy? He's not a deputy, Mike. He's a deputy sheriff. He's got rank. You shut up. You're in big trouble, all of you. Last night, a girl was beaten and raped. Before she lost consciousness, she told us he was a gringo. A Yankee stranger. The only strangers around this town are here in this cell. As soon as she comes to, I'm going to ask her to point out the one who did it. That's how much time you have left. Now, if you confess, I'll try to give you a break. It won't be easy, but I'll try. If you don't, if that girl has to go through the ordeal of identifying one of you, I promise you I'll tear you apart. There'll be very little left to hang. I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. But don't take too long. Huh? There are a lot of angry people out there, and I may just let them get you. Just think about it.
Yes. Yes, I understand. Who's that? Silver City. Yes. We can handle it. Right. Goodbye. I told them, you heard? Yes, I heard. Got the rap sheets? Yeah. Nothing much. No sex crimes, mostly vagrancy, petty theft. They're just bonds. Any one of them could have done it. Mm. Bring them down. One at a time. Who first? Vojic. And leave me alone with him. But, Manuel. Well, alone. Still thirsty, Joe? Mm. First, you got to tell me something. How do you spell your last name? Huh? Your last name, Borgic. Oh, well, I told the deputy, did, didn't he get it right? Well, I'm not sure. How do you spell it? Well, v is in victory, of course. O-R, Z as in, in, as in zero, Y-C-K, K, K as in uh, kook. <laughs> Very good. That's very good, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're Polish, eh? My father was Polish, my mother was German. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Well, there isn't much to tell. I, I'm from Cleveland. I'm 37 years old, and I'm one of 14 boys, and uh, I'm the baby. <laughs> me the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ever been married? Not legally. Uh, well, what I mean is uh, uh, women are uh, too much trouble. I never had much to do with them. You don't like girls? No, I didn't say that. It just that... Uh, oh, you, you just love them and leave them, huh? Oh, you, you're putting words in my mouth. You, you, you're trying to mix me up. Oh, am I? Oh, Joe, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Now, how about a cigar, eh? Mm. Here. Thank you. There we are. What's the matter? Too strong for you? It's some Mexican junk. Why don't you buy American cigars, Pancho? Oh, you listen to me, pig. Don't you ever talk to me unless I ask you a question. Do you understand? Mm. All right now. Where were you headed? California. When did you get into town? Last night, eight or nine. Where do you spend the night? Use car lot just outside. Anyone see you? I don't know, I don't know. Never been arrested? No. Joe, I have a list here of arrests as long as you're armed. Theft, assault and battery. You've been a very bad boy, Joe. Oh, I, I thought you meant something serious. Every time you get picked up, it's serious. This is only a preliminary report. By the time you leave here, I know which shoe you put on first in the morning. I never touched a girl in my life. You're a virgin? No, no, but I was never involved in rape or anything like that. I just, just, just... You mean you just, you just beat up a guy in a, in a, in a, in a picket line, eh? Broke up a strike in Detroit, right? Yes, but I was paid for those things. I was paid, I tell you. I never got involved in rape or anything like that. I never heard of this girl until you told me about her today. Vojic. Time is running out. If I can have a confession from you right now, I'll get you out of town to Silver City. You'll be safe there. There's nothing to confess. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I swear it. I swear it. The way this town feels right now, that may not make any difference. Very interesting uh, design. Must have scared the daylights out of old uh, Boji. But not you, eh? No, not me. Hey, that's an expensive ring you're wearing. Yeah, it's not bad. You like good things, eh? Well, once I was used to the best. But now, uh, mostly I do without. Unless the opportunity presents itself, huh? <laughs> that's right. Uh -huh. 
Yes, then you, uh, you have quite a war record. You must have been one of the first ones to go to Vietnam. Yes, we were the first troops over there. We were supposed to be training them, but they started shooting at us and we shot back. Pick up any medals? You bet I did. I was a big man over there. I was a very big man. I had everything I wanted right in the palm of my hand. I felt, I felt alive. I had purpose. I, I just can't put it into words. But then after I, I was hit and I, I was sent home while I was, was dull again. No excitement, no nothing. So now you, you look for a, a different type of excitement, huh? What do you mean? Like uh, watching a girl take her clothes off. Oh, now, come on, you sit down now. Are you gonna tell me about last night? How you entered her room, beat her, raped her? You're crazy. You're out of your mind. You're trying to frame me. I didn't do it. I never saw that girl before. Before what, Mike? I didn't mean that. I didn't do it. I believe you. I believe you never saw that girl before last night. I bet you never see the same girl more than once. I'm gonna nail you to the wall, Mike Marine. You almost beat that girl to death last night, and you better pray. Oh, come you on! You better I'm pray right. that she doesn't die, because if she dies, you'll never leave this town alive. Now, your only hope is with the law. If you confess, right now. Confess what? I didn't do it. Please believe me, I didn't do it. Mendoza! Take him out, and don't wait too long, big man. It might be too late. Out! Lucas Barnes, huh? That's right. Mm-hmm. Ever raped a girl, Lucas? What does the rap sheet say? Says you're a bum. That's just your opinion. Well, look, look, don't get me wrong. I got nothing against you. No cheer? I mean, what the hell? You're an intelligent guy. You can do whatever you want to. As long as you don't bother anyone else. That's right. I don't really, I mean it. Now look at me, for example, right? Eh? 24 hours a day, cooped up in this little town. This little hole here. The phone rings, trouble. But you, oh, oh you are free as a bird, eh? You can go wherever you want to go. No responsibilities, meet interesting people. No broads, hmm? You're really living, you're really swinging. Why did you rape her? Oh, come on. You just said it yourself. I move all around. I meet all kinds of interesting people. Do I look like that kind of a guy to you? And with a Mexican? Maybe this one turned you down. You got the wrong man. Now listen to me, you bastard. If that girl dies, this town will go wild. It won't make any difference who did it. You don't scare me. I know my rights. I'm entitled to the law's protection. Yeah, sure. And the law would make it easier on you if you cooperate. I got nothing to confess. All right. All right, have it your way. Mendoza! Yes, sir. Take him back to his cell. is a whistle. I bet it's a cleaner jail than any Yankee sheriff in the state. That's a fact. Let's go.
Well, who do you think did it? I think it was Borzik. He's an animal. Strong like a bull. Yeah. That's why you think Borzik. That's why everybody will think Borzik. That's probably been his trouble all his life. Then who do you think? I don't know. Lucas? Well, uh, he's unpredictable. Capable of anything. What about Mike? Yeah. What about Mike? Hanged him from the gibbet, feed for the flies. Crows come to pluck out his eyes. Cut him down softly, lay him on the ground. Nice fresh meat at a nickel a pound. He was a big man, a big, big man. Shut that up, Lucas, you hear? Shut it up. Oh, what's the matter, Joe? You know what's the matter. Just cut it out, white guy. What do you mean about the big man? That's a true story, Joe. I mean, the song's about something that really happened. See, there was this big guy about your size. Shut up, damn it. You're not funny. Well, that's a true story, Joe. You just make it up. You want to make it look like me. Now, take it easy, Joe. If you didn't do it, you got nothing to worry about. That means it was Mike. Oh, Lucas. <laughs> yeah. One of us did it, that's for sure. Never know. You never know about these foreigners, what they might do. I remember once when when I was a when I was over in Vietnam. I saw this uh, buddy of mine cut down by a firing squad. because uh, he uh shot a, a peasant by by mistake. And there were Three witnesses, all Vietnamese. And, uh, anyway, they, they found out a week later that they killed the wrong man. The witnesses, they, they couldn't tell one American from another American. Sit down, Dolores. Sit down. Tell me, did she regain consciousness? Did, did she say anything? Nothing. She just... Anyone else knows? Only Dr. Chavez and myself. Good. Manuel, what about the people out there when they find out? So full of hate. I can understand that. What will you do? Uh, I have a big, thick book here. It's called Manual of Operations. I look it up. You call Silver City. And they'll send help. They have a big book there, too. Is there anything you want me to do? Yes. 
Go back to the hospital and tell Dr. Chavez to keep it quiet as long as he can. And don't worry so much, huh? Please watch yourself. I will. They start to. I thought you said we could handle it. But it's different now that she died. Manuel! Why? Does that change you or me? But you just said the book says. I know what the book says. I also know what the book doesn't say. What do you mean? Oh, Mendoza. What has the gringo sheriff in Silver City said every time we needed something? Huh? Eh? He said, Pancho. You don't have any trouble down there. They are all nice people. They are your people. You handle it, right? But what can we do? I don't know. I'm going to see the prisoners now. Here he comes. Well, Deputy Sheriff. I'm folding things up. Why don't you bring the little lady over here and have her pick out the bad boy that done her wrong? You filthy swine. One more word out of you, I'll kill you. Now listen to me. All of you. The girl's dead. One of you is a murderer, and I don't give a damn which one it is. You brought back all the hatred. These people try to forget and forgive. So get this. I have to live in this town. If a man tries to get you, I'm not sticking my neck out. You're Yankees, and I couldn't care less. So remember, one of you is a murderer. The other two are suckers. <laughs> it's crazy. You think that girl is dead? Or could this be uh, one of his tricks? I don't know. My guess is she's dead. You mean you believe him? You think he's gonna let that mob take us? He's a mean bastard. Yeah, he's got something coming to him. But this isn't the old West. Lynching is out of style. He's not an ordinary cop, though. I'm telling what he might do. Talk to the sheriff in Silver City. And? Just like you said it would be. He said you were here to take care of things and... Yeah, forget it. Violence has a smell. Like a tornado coming. It has a smell. Everything gets real quiet. to fight a tornado is to get out of the way. You're frightened, Mendoza. It's fear you smell. I don't deserve that. It's not right. And you know it's not right. We should have help. Now listen. I told you a thousand times. Don't you understand? I'm a Mexican sheriff. You know what that means? You know what I think? They think Pancho cannot handle it. Well, I can. I'm as good as they are. I know it, you know it, but damn it for them, I have to prove it every day. And 
What happens tomorrow morning when Estevez rings the bell? I'll take care of it. You mean I or we? Okay, you made your point. Now leave it alone. Going out now. to lose a daughter any time, but in this way. Words, Manuel, words. There have been enough words. Do you know which gringo killed her? No, but... Uh, Not yet. <sighs> Juanita is dead. She's dead. I knelt here and I looked at the Blessed Virgin holding her baby in her arms. I, I remembered how I used to rock her to sleep because her mama was dead. She was all I had. She was so sweet and kind. Oh, Lord. Jesus, forgive me for what I must do. Estevez, if you let them take the law into their own hands, you are no better than the gringos. You are right. We are no better. Get the prisoners down here, quickly. But listen. Get them down! For God's sakes, Manuel. There's going to be a lynching. You can't handle this without help. Now you shut up. Shut up or get out. You mean... I mean, if you're scared, get the hell out. I'm going to handle this my way. Now get off my back or get out. 
All right. Have it your way. You're on your own. What is it? Picnic time. Those people outside are acting kind of funny. Hey! Your bird! Put the guns on! What for? What's going on? Put them on, all of you! All of you! Come on! What the hell for? You're crazy. We're going to be lynched by that mob. I don't give a damn. And what are you getting us out of here for? Because it's my job.
to find out what happened to us, and we'll be right back on our track. Well, we can't jump. We break our necks. Well, me, I don't intend to be around when they get here. Right, hurry up and find it. Why does that guy hit hard? Feels like he broke my jaw. Hey, throw us the key. Don't come any closer. I mean it. What's the matter with you? Throw us the key. I thought it was you. Stay back! What are you doing, you kook? Shut up and stay back, I'm warning you! Next time it'll be in your stomach! Well, Deputy Sheriff, looks like you found your man. Here they come! You know what's good for you? Get in the truck. What for? You know who did it now. If they get you here, it won't stand a chance. In the truck! Come on! Fast, we'll never make it. He's right. What are you going to do, Deputy Sheriff? Ha <laughs> ha 
nos la va a pagar. Se nos van a escapar los gringos. Los traicionó. ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué Aquí voy? viene una troca. ¡A pararla! ¡Eh! ¿Pero qué pasó, compadre? ¿Qué andan haciendo aquí en el desierto? Mataron a mi hija, compadre. ¿Cómo? ¿A Juanita? ¿Quién? Tres gringos. Y Vega nos traicionó y se los lleva a Silver City. Yo los seguí en el coche con los muchachos, pero nos chocaron. Pues vamos a seguirlos. ¡Súbanse, muchachos! ¡Ándele! What is this? Yeah. Never mind. And if one of us cannot pull his weight, the others are going to have to do it for him. And if you kill me, what do you do with my body? Where you go, we go. That's right. Uh, Walk. There's nothing out there. Where are we heading? Silver City. The other side of those hills. The other side? You're crazy. We can't walk over those mountains. You'll walk. Wait a minute. There are two of us. Suppose we just don't want to go with you. Yeah. You'd be lost in this desert. Or found and lynched. But Mike's the man. Why should we run? Maybe he is. Maybe he is. And if you think you're about jumping the border into Mexico, forget it. You'll never make it. Never. Padre Esteves, es muy difícil encontrarlos en esta tierra. Hay muchos cañones, no hay caminos, no hay nada. Ay, no, compadre. Besides Vega knows these hills and these canyons better than anybody. But we'll have to get them before they get to Silver City, Esteves. We can't catch them on foot. What are we going to do? Yes, what are we going to do? We'll go back to Santa Rita. We'll get some horses and some more men. Then we'll split into three groups. Carlos, you cover the west. Antero, you go to the east and I'll go down the middle. And when we get to the pass of San Jose, we'll catch up and we'll hang them right there. Está bien. Bueno, vámonos. <laughs> Thank you. 
They divide it into groups. They, they keep in touch with all signals. That's great. Over there, we we got to climb those rocks. You'll never make it. I'll make it if I had to drag you. Move. think it is? I don't know. Mike, who else? We better get out of here. No, no, we're, we are safer here. Whoever it is doesn't seem to be too anxious to get close. That mob could sneak up on us. There's no way to protect ourselves being chained like this. They won't try to take us in here. We are well fortified. Now what good does that do? We don't have a gun. They don't know that. So we might as well get some rest. It's gonna be a long, long day tomorrow. You know, Deputy Sheriff, I don't understand you. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Go to sleep. I mean, what are we doing out here? I thought you were the guy that was going to let him lynch us. So why don't you let him catch us now? You've done your duty. Why should you worry about our necks? It's my record I worry about, not your necks. Well, then why didn't you just pick up the phone and call for help? That's all it took, right? Right. I'll tell you why. Because you've got a complex. With you, it's not we the people, it's me the Mexican. You know, I had a dog like you once. Most dogs run in packs, but not him. Any other dog come near, he'd growl, mad as hell. He just wanted to be with people. It's like he thought he was a person. Didn't like being a dog. But that's what he was. Like it or not, just a dog. That's the way I figure you are. Like it or not, you're a Mexican. Just a Mexican. You'd give an arm to be like me, white Anglo-Saxon. Right? You Laos. I'm proud to be Mexican. The only difference between you and me is that I believe in something you could never understand. You, you believe in nothing or anyone. That's why you're a bum and maybe a rapist and a murderer. Be glad I'm not like you because if I was, I'd kill you right here and now. So, don't make it too tough for me not to.
Vinegar. Wake up. Come on, you guys, wake up. Hey! What? Hey! What? Over there! The guys on horses coming this way. Uh, where? Over there, there! Let's move. Come on, move. Closer. Let's keep going. Damn, if they do get us, I gotta stop. How much farther is it? About five miles. I'm so dry, I'm spitting cotton. Isn't there some water around here someplace? Doubt it. No, I can't go on. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding, fat man. You got enough meat on you to last you for a week. I've taken just about enough out of you, wise guy. It'll take as much as I can give you, a big slob. Who you call a big slob, you lousy? Many of them. You think there are any more around? Maybe. Is 
Let's get out of here. Mike. Oh, the mob. I don't think so. You're a great cop. You set us up like clay pigeons. We haven't got a chance with these chains on. You know it. all this time. That's right. Where you are. There's still one bullet in it. I counted every one of your shots. I'm sorry. Honestly, I didn't mean to. To kill me? What were you trying to do? Kill the others? No. I, t I, I mean, I, yes, I, me I meant to kill you. I, I was crazy. I knew if you got to Silver City and got to the police and the newspapers and... Everybody would know. That you killed a girl? No. About my war record. God, I'm no hero. I never got any medals. I just wanted to make my father proud of me. I've never been good at anything. And I thought if I... Stay where you are. What's the use? Your war record. Your dishonorable discharge. That means nothing to me. All I want to know is who killed that girl. I'm sorry. 
so tired. Please, I'm so tired. So am I! Now get up and start walking. Get up and start walking! Where the hell is the Mexican border? Two of them. Let me see. Yeah. Two gringos. Where's the other one? And where's Vega? I don't see him. We must have killed him. No, he's a tough man to kill. Well, then where is he? I don't know. Wait a minute. There's the other gringo. And there's Vega behind him. He's hurt. That's how the other two got away. They're getting too close to the San Jose Pass. If we don't stop them before, we'll lose them. They'll be almost in Silver City by then. Vámonos, compadre. Shot, huh, Max? That's not too bad. How long you think you're going to be able to keep us here? The only chance is the border. The only chance is with me. Suppose we all try to jump you at once. Which one would you shoot first? Try me. One of you is smart, maybe. The other two are jerks. What's the matter, Mex? You getting a little groggy? Lucas, he's lost a lot of blood. Hey, why don't you take a little nap, huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? Hey, why don't you get some shut-eye? We'll keep watch for you. All over for you, Mix. You're bleeding to death. Wouldn't let anybody help you. I knew it all the time. I knew you couldn't make it, Mix. Two of you are innocent. Your only chance is with the law. If I can get you to Silver City, you'll be free man. Only the guilty one will be punished. You... You think...
think he, if you can outweigh me, kill me. Chop the border into Mexico, then uh, you've got it made. You're wrong. You're wrong. If you kill me, all of you will be murderers. Nobody kills a cop and gets away with it. They'd catch you. And then you'd, you'd all die. If I, if I die, I'll be dying for something I believe in. The killer for his crime. But the other two, what, what would you be dying for? I don't want to die. I, I didn't do it. I could, I couldn't kill that girl. Would you, Bojic? Huh? Well, well, what for? Yeah. What for? How about you, Lucas? You could do it, eh? That's what you like, eh? When the girls fight you and beat them up, eh? That's the kick, isn't it, Lucas? Ah, get off my back, Max. Look, I don't need to do that to get broad. Don't you? Well, what do you think I am, a stupid moron like this? Hey, who are you calling a moron? What are you trying to fool? Are you trying to say I oh, killed no, you? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, 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 I didn't do it. Hey, I didn't do it. Stop him. That truth, Lucas. Hey, I didn't kill her. Hey, I didn't kill her. Hey, God. That truth, did you kill her? Hey, stop him. He's going to kill me. That truth, Lucas, did you kill her? Hey, hey. Did you kill her? Yes. Yes, I did it. Now get him off me! Bojic! Bojic. Nobody's gonna kill him. He has to stand trial. The law must decide. But, 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 no, but! Let him go. Let him go, Bojic. How do you feel? I'll make it. Come on, let me help you. You! Get up! Get going! Bars! Keep walking. the San Jose Pass. Now the hill is Silver City. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 